childhood is like this. My brothers in the living room playing classical guitar. Right. Classical repertoire. My mom cooking and singing Brazilian popular song for her right. age. My mom is 83 now, uh -huh. and she's an encyclopedia for Brazilian. So well, the classics, and, like oh, Hobie. Cartola, mm -hmm. and, and she is an amazing singer. My father playing with his friends, mm -hmm. mandolin, another Brazilian chorinho, which is another style, instrumental. I had my little radio, I would put in one radio that I loved, which was a Tropicalia mm -hmm. kind of music, Caetano, Chico Buarque, Gilberto Gil, etc. Tom Zé. Yeah. Tom Zé. Yeah. Tom Zé wasn't so much. Tom Zé became more heard after. Um, in the 90s, in, I suppose, yeah, when, when, when David, David Burns yeah, brought, brought yeah, him exactly. back. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and every Saturday, I was going to dance Bee Gees. <laughs> so you dance peaches and listen to um, Tropicana. So, well, I had a very eclectic childhood and mm -hmm. culture, so that is one of the reasons why I mix everything. Because mm -hmm. it was so natural to hear all these styles clashing. Oh go gosh, time. yeah. And when I start doing music myself, first I was like following my brother's steps. Right. But then I realized classical music wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. And I started, I shifted classical, still instrumental, classical to Brazilian, more contemporary uh, guitar composers. Mm -hmm. Gilbert Gismonti, uh, Marco Pereira, Ulysses Rocha, anything. But uh, with the time I started adding the voice and life went through and I, I have a very um, curious mind and very restless so the guitar, I want to do more with just playing guitar. So I was searching for props to change the sound. I was using the guitar as a percussion instrument. I did the percussion lessons. So I took guitar for me mm. to another level. Right. Uh, and then I start singing. I start taking the voice to another thing too. Because when I discovered the voice could do, probably is the richest instrument the he we have. You can do so much, you can do so, so many much. different things oh, with it from really? percussion to melody. I so at one so. point I was just taking my voice as an instrument. Mm -hmm. But then I started discovering the how to interpret a song. Ah, that is my, my thing now. How I can sing those lyrics and they mean something for me.
when you dive inside of me within my life. You reach all the secrets of me. You reach beyond my heart. Beyond my heart. Actually, for traveling nowadays, this is why I'm using, <laughs> I borrowed a guitar here because I only travel with a frameworks, oh. which oh. mine is from Germany. Mm -hmm. It's very light, takes apart, the sound is very good, and so I don't have trouble on the road, you know, very light and fits in every airplane. Oh wow! And the uh, and the overhead compartment. Overhead, yeah. even in the American, which is the tiny, sh tiny, <laughs> it fits. <laughs> Travel with that, it make makes my my life easier. But the gear, when I travel, I'm very easy. I just plug it in. I need a good system, which the majority of the places can provide you nowadays. Mm -hmm. I need a DI and a nice reverb going on, and we can these guitars allow me to to do that way right, right. but I carry my own microphone because what kind of microphone do you use? it's a Nikki G mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it depending on what I'm doing I carry to a DPA for the guitar right. when I have to do acoustic because mm -hmm. that's also very loyal to to the guitar sound right right and I move a lot on the stage so I cannot be with Stuck a steady here, yeah. yeah I stand up I sit down with a band or solo, mm -hmm. it's part of my my thing. I cannot just sit down and do a song. I gotta stand up. Right. <laughs>